Okay, first up, we're gonna play two videos. These are top secret things that we're up to. And mm -hmm. then, um, oh, Todd doesn't care. Uh, sent Todd out a DVI feather wing. It's cool. Um, so he did something neat with it, so we're gonna play that. And then, um, do you wanna show anything else or do you wanna do the questions? Um, let's we do the questions, because we're right Because we, we can do a really big, um, or we could do a top secret video later and post it. Just we'll just post it later, because yeah. I wanna get to the videos and then I got it. Okay, cool. There. All right, Lady what is this? Um, this is me designing the tester for our new RP2040 feathers with radio modules on the end. Uh, this is a LoRa 900 megahertz uh, RFM95. We've also got the version over here. Where, oh, you have an antenna soldered on. It's the RFM69, which is a packet radio version. Um, so the tester brains uses the Pico with an SD card, which has the firmware. And then it connects to um, one of the modules. I usually would use like a breakout, but I only have a feather wing on hand. I gotta go to the office and grab one of the modules that matches the right frequency. And then over here is the feather. And so what it does, if you back out a bit, we can see everything. Um, the tester programs the test firmware onto here, which uh, tests all the GPIO and checks the voltages and everything, and then communicates back and forth with this radio um, to make sure that the radio and the antenna is working. And you can see I've got a little uh, faux antenna, just a basic antenna that connects to the uh, pogo pin here. And then uh, on success, you get OK test. All right, Lady, what is this? Well, this is a Circuit Playground Classic, which you might remember is our at Mega 32 u 4 based Circuit Playground. This was the first version. And we didn't make them for a while because we couldn't get at Mega 32 u 4s But hey, uh, chip shortage is over, so let's make some more. Um, we also decided to let's redesign this tester board. Originally, this used a uh, Arduino M0 Pro, like, yeah, ancient, which we can't really get anymore. Um, so we're going to update it to our... RP2040 brains board, which does the AVR programming and also can do the USB host enumeration check. Um, so the board tests itself, and then after it's done, it enumerates, programs the flash, can do all the whole thing in about like 10, 15 seconds, which is great. And then uh, when it's done, you get a nice so little rainbow. Look for the rainbow. Yeah, so uh, look for the rainbow, and then once these are all tested, we'll get them back in the shop. And this is a little preview. We sent this out to Toddbot, and Toddbot delivered. This yeah. is something I, was like, I know he's going to do something cool. Yeah, so this is... This is a little video synth yeah. with um, using the Arduino Pico DVI library, which is neat because, uh, again, it's, it's always been so hard to do DVI output without using a Raspberry Pi or their single board computer, which, don't get me wrong, they're cool, but, like, there's a lot... There's, it's a lot of heavy lifting to get it going. Uh, what I like is how light, it's instant. You, you turn it on yeah. and it's immediately um, displaying whatever you want over uh, DVI. It's cool. So, looks cool. All it's right. a little chunky, but I kind of like it too. It's yeah. got a little bit of that like um, video toaster yeah. kind of look. This will be in our store very soon.